Hello, and welcome to Magna Gratia ASMR. Today we are showcasing my Pokemon figurine collection, and I'm going to be using some theming during this. And the first theme that we'll start out with is Unova. So this is my Reshiram figurine from the black and white era. And it came with this uh, little stand here, so Reshiram has a place to sit. And I'm really not sure where I uh, caught a lot of these, but I like to put them on my shelf with my teacups. And I'll definitely be doing a teacup collection video uh, soon enough. So yeah. I think this restroom is pretty cool. So yeah. The second figurine is this Snivy. Now this figurine is a little bit different. I'm not too sure where I got this from either. Um, but it also has a little stand. And basically how these work is you just, it's this little thing, and then you just put it in its butt, and then it stands. And yeah. So, there's the uh, 360 of Snivy. And yeah. The next on the topic of Unova starters is Oshawott. Now he does not have a stand because I just don't know where it is, but he can stand up like normal and everything's okay. So yeah, here's a little 360 of Oshawa. And let me know what your favorite Gen 5 starter is. Um, I don't know what mine is. Um, I really like the uh, Snivy Superior line, but I also really like the Tepig line. Oshawa is very cute, but I don't know. I'd have to, uh, I'd have to play Gen 5 more with actual starters instead of the randomized, like my other playthrough. But uh, this is Tepig here, and he also has a stand that I'm not sure where it is, but um, he can stand up just fine. So yeah, I think uh, it's uh, very ceremonial that I have the three um, Unova starters here. So I'll just put these a little bit off to the side here. Maybe we can keep a couple in the frame, uh, just for now. And next, staying on the same uh, vein, is this smaller Snivy with its little leaf tornado. Standing very regal. And yeah, I'm not sure where to put this one because it doesn't really have a friend. Well, I mean, I guess it does, but there's one missing. And that friend is this superior. Again, very regal Pokemon. And I, uh, I very much enjoy this line. Um, in my original uh, Pokemon White 2 playthrough, I had a shiny superior. I think I got it in a trade somehow, but I don't know where that was from. Anyway, let's go back to another Unova Legendary, and we can see White Kiram. I used to call it Kyram as a kid, I don't know why, but you don't really um, get taught how to pronounce things um, in the Pokemon world besides the anime, so forgive me. But uh, here's White Kyram. I'm really unsure where I got these from. I don't want to say McDonald's, but it might have been. It also could be um, something else, but there it is. It stands with my, um, stands with my Reshiram on top of my two tins. 
and I think it's pretty cool. Maybe we can move these guys a little bit, put them right there. Okay, the next Pokemon is Patrat. Um, I got this one in a tin at a convention that I went to. Um, it was just like a little gaming expo, and it's a little bit dirty because I didn't wash it, but it's okay. And yeah, I just, he doesn't have a stand, unfortunately, he didn't come with one. But he was only a dollar, and I was like, you know what, I collect these, so might as well just pick him up. And he actually stands near my, um, my clock, and he holds up the clock, and, well, not really, but I think it's very cute how he does that. Um, but... I totally forgot about this guy, Samurai. Um, I think a lot of people forget about this Pokemon, but that's okay. <laughs> um, he has the uh, very big sword here, and yeah, he's a little dusty, but that's okay. I've been cleaning my room for the past like week, so yeah. But uh, his eyes are a little derpy, if you can see. I don't know if, yeah, I don't know, they're, they're a little derpy, but that's okay, we forgive him for that. But yeah, there's Sam Samurott, and after Patrat comes Axew. Now, I really don't know where these come from, because I, I guess I maybe threw away uh, the stand that it comes on, but this Axew does stand normally, which is very good. Um, yeah, there it goes. And yeah, um, watching the anime as a kid, I really liked Iris's character, and I loved her Axew. Um, and yeah, one of my, um, favorite moments from, uh, the anime of Iris's is the episode, um, with her elder, her village elder. I just remember her calling Elder. I don't know why, it's just a memory that I have. And I have some nice tea here with me. Of course, I love my tea. Anyway, up next is the last of the Unova um, figurines that are kind of sizable like this, and that is Soroa. And I really, really love Zorua and Zoroark. I love their character designs. I love how they're just cool. <laughs> and yeah, there he stands. I don't know if he has a... Yeah, no, he doesn't have a, a little, little thing. But there he goes. Just Sorry, Snivy, I killed him. Oh no, I killed Oshawott too. <laughs> Maybe we can get these ones out of the frame. Oh no, they're all dead. Um, there were a couple casualties, but that's okay. <laughs> we don't talk about them anymore. Anyway, enough about Unova. Well, I guess we'll see in a couple days. Um, there's a, a Pokemon day coming soon. Anyway, not enough about Unova because I have two more. This one is a little scraggy with a little magnetic ball at the bottom. And this scraggy is paired with um, a Pokeball. And these Pokeballs, they like, like you open them and they like go out. So this one is Woobat's home. Just a little, little guy with uh, the magnetic thing. So basically, you just slot him into here, um, and then you push him down. And they're supposed to click, but I don't think this one clicks, unfortunately, anymore. Um, oh, there you go. And then you just close it, and then you open it, and then it's supposed to shoot out. So let's see if it works. Uh-oh. Got stuck. 
yeah, you get it. It's supposed to be much more um, crazy than that, but you get it. Go bam. You know? Yeah. Anyway. The Pokeball is also part of this. Uh, it has a little bit of paint on it, but that's because, you know, kids just paint everything. Anyway. Um, where is the other? There should be another Pokeball around here somewhere. Oh, I found it. So, this one here, unfortunately, it, um, the Pokeball part doesn't close properly, but this one is Scraggy's home. Um, yeah, it, there you go. It just doesn't lock properly, unfortunately. But there he goes, just sitting in its habitat. I do have a, um little party shot glass that I could put him in and I need a couple more because I have some other uh, pokeballs and yeah I just it's a little stand okay now on to the next region the next region sort of kind of is um my local Japanese import store, and I got and made these. So basically, um, it comes in little separate parts, and you just like push them together, and you build them, and then you get these little cuties, and then you can put them in the actual thing. So there's Gumi and Wooper with the little waterfall, lily pad. It's very cute. And it comes in like a little set thing. So um, there's like maybe six of them around. And then um, I also got this one with a cute celebi. And it has a little, uh, little stick here just to hold it in place. It has a little water lily and then a lily pad. I put these ones together because they go together. Although the uh, cliff here, I think it goes with uh, another one, so maybe we can put it on this side. There, that seems to make a little bit more sense. Yeah, um, they were both a bit expensive. They were like eighteen dollars Canadian each, which is a lot, but it's okay. Next, I have this dive ball here. And these open, and they make a little bit of a silly sound. And then up, out pops out Totodile. It's sort of um, what the other Pokeballs aim to do, but you can't take these ones out. So yeah, Totodile is just stuck in there forever. But it's pretty cute. He's just a little guy in there. And there's the dive ball. And then there's also a repeat ball. Just move it back up. Yeah, so here's the repeat ball. Let me know what your favorite Pokeball is as well. Huh. Bam. It's Cyndaquil. What a little cutie. Of course, he has to have the flames. He has to. I am not sure um, which one the... Uh, oh, what's the other one? Chikorita. I don't know uh, if there's a Chikorita one, but if there is, I'll uh, put that up on the screen because I can edit videos. Um, okay, next I will show off this Pikachu. So there's Pikachu. He's just a, uh, he's just a little thing. Looks very menacing. You know, roar not 
XD. <laughs> but yeah, there he is. He's just a little guy, you know? Yeah. Okay. And what next? Maybe I can show off my Sylveon. Ugh. Sylveon is definitely one of my favorite of the evolutions. I think my most favorite has to be Umbreon, though, because I just like it very much. I think it's Umbreon, and then whew, Sylveon and Glaceon. They're, those are my top three. But yeah, he's just sitting on a little, um, little wood carving, and yeah, she's just very pretty. Trans icon. <laughs> The next Pokemon, definitely one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, is this Miss Magius. Now, I live in Canada, and I'm not sure if there is a store in the U.S., but um, the store called Zellers, um, everybody used to love it, and we, um, it was liquidating everything because it went under. Um, and I saw this Miss Magius there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. I was with my nonna, my grandmother in Italian, and I was like, can I please get it? And she was like, of course you can. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, it just, uh, sits on the little ledge of, oh my goodness, mage down sits on the little ledge of my uh, teacup shelf. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'll put her away before any more travesties can happen. Okay, and the next one I want to show off is this one right here. Now, this one's interesting because I got it at a the same expo that I got the Petrat at, and somebody actually made this, so it's not official Pokemon uh, memoranda, uh, but somebody actually made it, and I think it was so cool, I thought it was so cool, and I still do, and yeah, it's just ditto, looking all ditto-y in its uh, little terrarium there. And yeah, can make it just sit on here, make it look depressed. <laughs> but why would you do that? Ditto's happy. There we go. Ditto. Okay. And we are coming on to some of the final uh, Pokemon figurines that I have. And this one I got semi recently. And it is a small of eraser. Now I'm never ever ever going to use this as an actual eraser, but I thought it was very cool. So I had to pick it up. And he's just a little guy waddling around. And then he waddles away. Waddle waddle waddle. <laughs> but yeah, he just sits there um on the edge of my shelf beside my Miss Magius. And yeah, he's just a little guy, little olive. I think Smolov is definitely one of my most favorite of the recent Pokemon because I don't know. I just I don't have that much of an attachment um, to the newer Pokemon these days, unfortunately. Okay, and the next one is this Mewtwo. I like Mewtwo. Um, my favorite of the Mega Mewtwo's is Mega Mewtwo Y. Mega Mewtwo X just looks very, uh, Jimbro to me, you know? Uh, but yeah. There's Mewtwo. Just menacing, of course. And as a kid, I used to, like, play with these Pokemon, kind of, like, in the anime. Like, let's take Mewtwo, for example, and, uh, uh, or Samurott. Sure. 
So I used to be like, um, me too, use hyper beam. And it'd be like, pew. And then Samurott would, ah. And then Samurott use impale, and then bam. You know? Yeah. I was such a happy kid with all these Pokemon. Okay, now we've come to the finale, I believe. Um, yeah. So, let us start out with this vintage Zapdos. And I say vintage because, well, you'll see in a bit, because they don't make them like this anymore. But this Zapdos, um, does it have the date on it? Let me see. It does not. Um, but he's just, you know, he's just sitting here. Um, there's five of them, so they all just one, two, three, four, five. But not five Zapdos. That would be a bit silly. Okay, next one I'll show is a Slowking. He's just, you know, living its life, all silly. <laughs> and here's the 360 of him. I love Slowking. He's so derpy and silly, but I love that. Okay, next one is this. Snorlax. He, like, what? You can't even, like, what? He's just waving at you. Isn't that so cute? Like, he can be on any surface. Like, he can be in a little floaty in the water, just, like, bobbing up and down, just waving to all the, uh, all the onlookers. Ugh, I love him. The next one I have here is Blossom. And Blossom is definitely such a pretty Pokemon. I love the pretty ones. Um, and yeah. I think this definitely came from a Gen 2 uh, set, if they all came together. But if they didn't, then I don't know. But yeah. And then, it's just pretty Pokemon. And then the final figurine that I have. And I hate to do it, but I have to. It's Chonky Pikachu. And that's why I said that they don't make this like them like this anymore, because they don't. You can't find a Chonky Pikachu. He's just... They, they, they made him work out. And I think that's disgusting. Like, how dare you force a Pokemon to work out? Like, you can't do that. I think that Pikachu was beautiful as he was. And yeah, now I can keep him forever. Chonky forever. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very, very fun video to make. Um, and yeah, I will definitely catch you in the next one. And until then, have a great, great night, and bye-bye.